Hellboy, one of my favorite comics, pieces of media, just all of it. Storytelling, art, super great. Uh, Mike Mignola is too cool. I have had the opportunity to see him speak a few times, and uh, he's just he's just a cool dude. And Hellboy is a mixture of a lot of things that I find super interesting. A lot of literary poetry references, a lot of mythology study in there that is uh, uh, just really culturally diverse. A lot of Eastern European mythology, which is not as commonly represented, and some other kind of Thai and Southeast Asian mythology in some of the short stories. Tons of cool stuff. Uh, but uh, the main thing for an artist is that the style is super cool. I have spent a fair amount of time really trying to decode how Minula decides to put his lines together. A lot of people, if you've watched anyone try to decode his style, will note that he, he operates very strongly in just strong geometric shapes for, for shadows. He loves to just block out big swaths of black in his in his pictures and uh, I have some some artist copies of some of the comics uh, the amazing screw on head and you know getting to see some of the pencil work there before he does the line work where he's just marking out these big areas where he's just gonna ink in everything is uh, very telling for all that but you know I think even if you're not adding those deep inky black shadows there is still a lot to be learned from the way that he does his shape language and I think one of the main things is uh, he uses probably a fine liner. It's very thin line work, not, not very thick, not very tapered. And uh, that's, I think, one of the more iconic pieces of his style, that the lines are very singular in weight. And they're also very straight for the most part. He does not use a ton of curves. And there's a lot of confidence in the line work that way. And for humans especially this like the cranial mass the skull is very defined and then the jaw is just like this kind of dropped you know either pentagon or kind of cylinder yeah however you might want to put it and then his hands i think his hands are super recognizable so what i've got going on here is I think he really at least for me the way it works out is that it's a very much a circle rather than, you know, kind of the form structure of the hand where a lot of people might use a rectangle or a pentagon. I favor a pentagon when I'm trying to do something a little bit more realistic, but he's definitely got a, a shape language that suggests that there is basically a circle there and the fingers just kind of shoot, yeah, more or less curve out from there. And that... I think in in these two pictures, uh, these were kind of self-portraits mocking up that style. The That shape language for the hands makes it read as more of a, a Minula style, a Hellboy style hand. And, you know, here, I, so I'm placing in a lot of blacks here, and I am not even halfway as, you know, half of this picture would just be straight blacks like probably the shoes and the feet would all be just covered in shadow uh he's admitted a couple of times that he hates doing legs and feet so so that's part of it but uh you know and, and even for the backgrounds there's this really strong sense of geometry where backgrounds are very abstract and you know if you look at the maurice noble backgrounds for a lot of the chuck jones looney tune shorts they seem to kind of come from the same uh, ideology, I guess, uh, and now I'm moving on to a second one in in the same style to kind of try it a little bit different way. But that idea of letting the character stand out from the background by not really having a background that is grounded in, in a realistic representation of something, uh, I think that's very effective. Uh, and for someone who is still struggling to learn how to do backgrounds, is very convenient. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, not... Obviously, I think every artist wants to try and challenge themselves to get better. But uh, when you are just trying to get stuff done, it's, it's kind of cool sometimes to find creative ways around not drawing the things that you're weak at drawing. <laughs> um, you know, whether that be in the writing of the story or otherwise. 
this one, uh, I... I don't think I'm as happy with how the head came out. I was trying to focus a little bit more on the shadow shapes there. I do think that the the legs and the, the clothing are a little bit more interesting. Tried to do a little bit more with the hair to make it uh, a little more dynamic rather than just that very static pose. But again, in the other one, I had a really big focus on the hands. In this one, there's, there's not much in, in the way of the hands. So I, I think this one is... is still a successful rendition for the most part in that style it's it's not quite as uh quite as dynamic i guess the cloak or well cardigan really blowing in the wind is probably the most effective thing kind of aping from certain panels in hellboy or, or other comics of his and again just really playing with those shadow shapes they're really blocky and geometric and you know, super iconic. If you can get the shadows right, then you can probably get pretty close to uh, what might be approximated as, as a Hellboy art style. Um, but again, you know, probably even more of it, like the top of the pants where it's peeking out from the cardigan would go full black. And, uh, and even more of the shoes and all that stuff. So <laughs> I'm still being a coward about placing those heavy blacks. It's just, it's hard, once you've done the underdrawing, it's hard to part with that detail, because you have done so much work on it, and he is just ruthless <laughs> for just dumping stuff out of the picture in order to get the mood right. Uh, I do like the background better in this one. This one feels more like there is a ground plane and, like, a flat wall. Uh, you kind of need to fix the tangent with the hair at the top, but this was really just a quick style exploration in terms of what really makes the Hellboy style tick uh, and what elements can you kind of leave out and still make it read as that. But anyway, yeah, these were super fun. I have a couple of other style explorations in Minula's style. So hopefully, uh, you know, you'll stick around and maybe subscribe if you're interested. And I'll go into a little bit more detail and maybe do some draw overs of Hellboy panels to kind of show you what I mean about those main shapes that make it read as that style. But anyway, thanks again for watching, and uh, hopefully see you in the future.